In 2021, Kershaw's season was cut short by an injury in a game that suddenly became what could have been his last game as a Dodger, as impending free agency loomed that offseason. But after recovering, securing a one-year deal all around the lockout in his first start of 2022, he absolutely dominated. Swings arms. Off. He gets it out. That slide. Wow, today? Clayton Kershaw is a generational talent, a guy who has won nearly every accolade you can win as a pitcher in the bigs, but he has yet to put together a perfect game. And that is what his first outing of 2022 was. Perfect. Seven innings, no hits, no walks, and 13 strikeouts. But when he was pulled in the seventh, most of what the internet turned their focus to was the decision to pull him, not on the dominant performance we just witnessed by one of the game's best pitchers. So in today's video, we are going to dive into just that. But not just to answer the question, is Kershaw still legit? But diving into how he possibly could still be entering into his 15th year in the bigs. So typically, when we do videos like this, we take a look at each pitcher's stuff. Checking first on Brooks baseball, looking at their movement profiles, then analyzing their arsenal's velocity and usage percentages in years past, and seeing how that has changed from year to year to see what could have been done in the offseason to account for their recent dominant performances. The issue in doing that this time is Kershaw spent this offseason rehabbing his injury that ended his 2021 season. So while there definitely could have been some changes to his arsenal, most likely the focus was on getting and staying healthy. So when you look at his numbers, they actually have stayed pretty much the same across the board, except for a few minor differences. The first one being that Kershaw's average velocity has dropped every season since 2015. And because of that, we can actually see through the data how he has adjusted his usage of different pitches to allow him to remain as one of the game's best, even eight years after his last Cy Young award. So let's dive into it. The main two charts we need to look at are here. The first being his average pitch velocity chart by season. You can see that so far this year, Kershaw's average fastball velocity has been 90.1. We've got plenty of guys who throw harder than that here at PSU. Compare that to his average back in 2015, which was just over 94 miles per hour, and you'll see that he just can't pitch the same way he did back then. A 95 mile per hour fastball is way different than a 90 mile per hour fastball at the highest level of the game. So Kershaw was forced to make an adjustment. What was it? Well, if we take a look at this chart showing his usage by season, you can see back when he was hucking mid-90s, he relied on his fastball a majority of the time. His next best pitch was his slider, third the curveball, and fourth his changeup. The major shift seven years later is that with that four mile an hour drop in his fastball velocity, he is also throwing it less than 40% of the time, making it his second most used pitch instead of his first as it was back in the day. To take over that leading spot, we now have his slider, which has been thrown just under 50% of the time so far in the 2022 season. His curveball and changeup usage have remained about the same. Well, we've mentioned the decrease in velocity as one reason for that, but this switch also has to do with the success he's seen throwing that slider. So let's dive into that a bit. In breaking down Kershaw's first two outings of 2022, in his first perfect outing, batters went 0 for 16 and at bats ending with a slider, with 11 Ks. Those other five balls in play weren't hard hit either. In his second, slightly less dominant outing, batters fared 2 for 8 with 5 Ks. As you can see, his batting average against with this pitch, his WOBA and his expected WOBA are all quite low. We won't dive into what this exactly means, but you can pretty much take away from this that this is very good. If you want a refresher on what those stats mean, check out the links below in the description. To take that a step further, we can see that this pitch has a 49% whiff rate and a 44% put away rate, both of which are the best of all of the pitches he throws. This brings me to a good point that we seem to notice on a lot of these breakdowns. You need to throw your best pitch the most. This contradicts the old school baseball saying of establishing your fastball command and pitching off of that pitch. Because the fact of the matter is some people's fastballs aren't very good. If Kershaw threw his fastball more often than any of his other pitches, I can guarantee you he wouldn't have gone seven perfect innings in his first appearance this year. One other thing to cover is the slider does play a part in this, a big part, but with his drop in velocity, 
He isn't seeing successes here just due to using some new version of this slider. His lack of walks, his whiff rate, and his put-away percentage were still among the best in baseball in 2021. You can find out more at the link shown at the bottom of the screen and in, in the description down below in a good article on MLB.com. Again, it helps when you throw your best stuff more often, and Kershaw has figured that out. When it comes to recapping a guy like Kershaw, you already know you are talking about one of the best ever till the rubber. Adding a perfect game to his long list of achievements would have been cool, but I do agree it was the right decision for the long-term success of his team and his health. I hope through this video, you learned a thing or two about how even the best of the best have to continue to work and adapt to stay on top as their arsenal changes with age. And my main key to success for Mr. Kershaw is to continue to stay healthy. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.